This is the medieval bridge at Ayr, the old brig of Ayr. It can be compared with the medieval bridges at Stirling and at Alloway. It's thought to have been built in 1491, or at least completed on that date, because there's records that James IV of Scotland, passing through Ayr at that time, took the ferry at first. In fact, the name Boat Vanel, which still exists, boat in Scots can also mean a ferry, but on his return journey, he came back over the bridge. So that suggests that it was completed at that time. There's also a record that he made a payment towards the costs. There are several notches in the side walls of the bridge on the northern side. These are said to have been where the gallows were erected. If a witch was hung, that her evil spirit couldn't cross running water back into the town, like the story of Tamashanta. The ruins at the northern end with a couple of fireplaces used to be shops. One of them was a tobacconist. It was also the brig port, one of the defendable entrances to the town. The bridge's survival is partly down to its association with Robert Burns and his famous poem, The Twa Briggs. However, before his day, in 1732, the North Arch had collapsed. Substantial repairs were needed and were completed in 1910. Before that, it said you could even see the river running through the gaps in the pavement as you walked. The ornamental lights on the bridge were added in 1910. One of them partly covers an old sundial. In the old Kirk of Ayr, there's a particularly fine memorial to the Reverend Adair. He's shown in a kneeling position, and it's said this represents the time when he knelt on the old Brig of Ayr, praying that some plague ships would be unable to dock and pass on the disease to the populace. Adverse winds and tides prevented this from happening. To commemorate his success, his statue was erected. The old brig is said to have some architectural details in common with Cross Regal Abbey. In Burns's poem, he has the old brig say to the new brig, that the new brig be a shapeless can, and he'll still be standing. It sort of came to pass in that when the bridge was widened, it was probably weakened and had to be demolished and replaced by the present bridge.